I'm Mrs. Kim and welcome to Mrs. Kim's Building Blocks. How are you today? Well, I am so happy that you came. Every day at Mrs. Kim's Building Blocks, I always check my mailbox and that's because I'm hoping to hear from you. Let's see who wrote to Mrs. Kim today. Come on, let's see. Ooh, I have a postcard here from David. Hi, David. How are you? And I also have a letter here from Brooklyn. Hi, Brooklyn. Well, I want the both of you to know that I think that you are so special, so sweet, and so smart. Let's start today by playing a game to learn about patterns. Can you say patterns? Oh, good. Patterns help us to see what comes next and teaches us about math. When things come in a smart order, we can even guess what comes next. Let's try that together. Here we go. We have bus, train, bus, train, bus, train. What do you think is going to come next? Did you say bus? Oh, very good. Okay, here we go again. Boat, plane, boat, plane, boat, plane. What's going to come next in our pattern? Did you say boat? That's right. Boat comes next in our pattern. Okay, here's our last one. Fire truck, police car. Fire truck, police car. Fire truck, police car. What do you think is going to come next in our pattern? Did you say fire truck? Terrific. You see, patterns are not hard because you are so smart. Today, we're going to learn about the letter D. There's the big D or the uppercase D, and then there's a small D or the lowercase D. The sign language for the letter D goes like this. You first make a fist, and then you have your pointing finger stand up straight, just like this, and then you make a nice little circle here with your thumb and your tall finger. And that is the letter D in sign language. Can you do that? Oh, good. The letter D makes two sounds. It sounds like duh, 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 like dog, but it can also make the j, j, j sound like the word dragon. So when you see the letter D, you know that you'll make the d, d, d sound or the j, j, j sound. I want to teach you a song about driving. And driving begins with the letter D. Let's sing it together. I'm driving in my car. I'm driving in my car. Beep, beep, toot, toot. I'm driving in my car. I'm driving very fast. I'm driving very fast. Beep, beep, toot, toot. I'm driving very fast. I'm driving very slow. I'm driving very slow. Beep, beep, toot, toot. I'm driving very slow. The lights have turned to red. The lights have turned to red. Beep, beep, toot, toot. So I must stop the car. The lights have turned to green. The lights have turned to green. Beep, beep, toot, toot. So I can drive again. Let's sing that song one more time. I'm driving in my car. I'm driving in my car. 
beep, beep, toot, toot. I'm driving in my car. I'm driving very fast. I'm driving very fast. Beep, beep, toot, toot. I'm driving very fast. I'm driving very slow. I'm driving very slow. Beep, beep, toot, toot. I'm driving very slow. The lights have turned to red. The lights have turned to red. Beep, beep, toot, toot. So I must stop the car. The lights have turned to green. The lights have turned to green. Beep, beep, toot, toot. So I can drive again. Oh, that was a very nice song about driving. And remember, driving begins with the letter D. Today, let's practice writing the letter D. You can write every letter in two ways. The uppercase or the big letter and the lowercase or the small letter. Here is my paper. Every paper is filled with straight lines. And in between those lines, you will write your letters and make words and sentences. For the uppercase or the big D, you start at the top. What's the best way down? You draw a straight line down. What's another way down? You go right back to the top and then you go all the way around to the bottom. And that is the uppercase or the big D. Can you trace with me? Oh, great. Please start at the top. What's the best way down? Draw a straight line down. Go right back to the top. And what's another way down? Go all around, all the way to the bottom. Very good. Let's do that one more time. You start at the top. What's the best way down? Draw a straight line down. Go back to the top. What's another way down? Go around all the way to the bottom. Excellent. And that's how you write the uppercase D or the big D. Very good. To write the lowercase or the small D, you start at the top and you draw a straight line down. Push up a little bit and then go around, just like that. Can you trace with me? Oh, good. Take out your finger. Please start at the top and draw a straight line down. Push up a little bit and then go around. Very good. Let's do that one last time. Please start at the top. Draw a straight line down. Push up a little bit and go around. Very good. But you know what? There's a little problem that we have. And that is the lowercase b or the small b that we have here looks a lot like the lowercase d or the small d. Do you see how they kind of look alike? Hmm. So how can we tell them apart? And how can we write them so that they are each the right letter? Well, there's a few ways, and I want to show you some tricks so that you can tell the difference between the lowercase b and the lowercase d. First, I want you to give me two thumbs up, just like this. Can you do that? Oh, great. Now look at your hands. Can you take a good look? Just like the picture that I have here, this one looks like the letter B. Do you see that? And then this one looks like the letter D. So that's one trick that we can use to tell the difference between what is the letter B and what is the letter D. Now, I wanna share with you another trick so that you can tell the difference between the letter B and the letter D. Here's a picture of the letter B, and if you look at it, do you see how that it's looking at the letter D? So that's another way. If you can remember this picture, B 
C's D. Very good. Okay, now another way is a lowercase b is the bottom of the uppercase b. Just like this. Do you see how the lowercase b fits right into the bottom of the uppercase b? Do you see the picture? But the lowercase d cannot fit into the picture of the uppercase b. So that's another way if you can remember this picture. Now, this is another way that you can remember the letter B and see how it's different from the letter D. Look at this word. This is the word for bed. And if you look at it, you have the B before the D, just like the order of the alphabet. So if you can remember this picture too, then you can tell the difference between the lowercase b and the lowercase d. Terrific! Let's practice by playing a game together. Do you want to play a game with me? Oh, great! Every time you see a balloon that has the lowercase b, I want you to pop that balloon. But I don't want you to pop the balloons that have the lowercase d. To pop a balloon, you can say, pop, 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 and then poke it with your fingers just like this. Pop, pop, pop. But please, don't touch your screen. Just pop, pop, pop. Are you ready? Oh, great. Do you see the balloons coming? Remember, pop only the balloons with the lowercase b. Oh, good. Let's get our poppers ready. Do you see it coming? Oh. Let's see. Oh, here. Here's the letter B. Pop, pop, pop. Hmm. Can you find another one? Remember, only the letter B. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Pop, pop, pop. Good job. You did it. Now we have another one. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here's the letter B. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, good. You're doing a terrific job. Let's see. Here's... Oh. Hurry, let's get this one. Pop, pop, pop. Remember, only the letter B. And here's the last one. Do you see it? Where is it? Letter B. Oh, yeah. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, wow. You did such a great job at telling the difference between the letter B and the letter D. Good job. Now, let's do some adding. Adding just means that we put two numbers of things together to find out how many things we have. Let's give it a try. Today, we'll count dinosaurs, and dinosaurs begins with the letter D. We have one dinosaur plus no more dinosaurs or zero dinosaurs. How many dinosaurs do we have? We have one dinosaur. Very good. Okay, we have one dinosaur plus one dinosaur. How many dinosaurs do we have? Excellent. We have two dinosaurs. Okay, we have one dinosaur plus two dinosaurs. How many dinosaurs do we have? We have three dinosaurs. Terrific! I am so proud of you. Let's sing a song with the letter D sounds. Can you sing with me? Oh, great. Let's sing together. D is for donut, duck, duck, donut. D is for duck, 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 duck. D is for dinosaur, da da dinosaur. D is for drum, j j drum. D is for dragon, j j dragon. D is for drink, j j drink. Let's sing that one more time. D is for donut, d d donut. D is for duck, 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 duck. 
D is for dinosaur, D, D, dinosaur, D is for drum, J, J, drum, D is for dragon, J, J, dragon, D is for drink, J, J, drink. Wow, I love singing with you. Oh, do you know what? Time is up for today, and I had such a great time with you. Before we go, I want you to remember that I think that you are so special, so sweet, and so smart. Thank you so much for coming today, and I hope to see you next time at Mrs. Kim's Building Blocks. Bye-bye. I'll miss you. See you soon.